Hello, uh, my name is Crispin Sanford and um, what I wanted to do today was uh, make a video uh, uh, and cover the seven sections of any well-established expanding organization. Essentially, um, it doesn't matter what industry you're looking at uh, or what the expertise um, or, or profession uh, the organization or the business uh, works within, uh, they essentially, all businesses um, must have these seven sections uh, in place in order to be well established and in order to then expand as an organization into the marketplace. So the seven sections are the executive section, the administrative section, marketing, uh, finance, production and delivery, that's one section, quality control, and then business development. Uh, so those seven sections, when they're in place within an organization, ensure that the organization can be stable, can operate comfortably and stably as a business, and also uh, will expand as a business. So the executive section, obviously planning, uh, addressing and, and, and assuring any legal matters are taken care of, um, uh, events where uh, the executive, the president of the organization is meeting with a public figure. You know, these sorts of things are arranged and organized through the executive section. Um, financial planning for the organization uh, to ensure that there is a strategy for the growth of that business uh, using uh, money that the, the organization has or investments that are made. Um, and then administrative, you know, the administration that's human resources, that is, that's ensuring that there's phone lines set up and a uh, computer uh, is uh, hooked up to the internet, etc. You know, the administration really ensures that people are being trained, that any personnel matters are being addressed and solved. Um, uh, and, you know, now we we'll look at marketing, a quick brief overview of each of these areas. Uh, in marketing, we're dealing mainly with, uh, and there's a difference here between marketing uh, and business development. Uh, not all, like, all organizations have those two separate uh, sections. Uh, marketing really is um, the way in which you promote to current customers and clients in order to get repeat business, in order to uh, get more business from them and, and target specific groups within your client base or customer base that would really benefit from some of the services you can offer. Um, and then business development, um, which I'll cover here, is really for getting new people into the business, new customers, new clients, finding new markets uh, and targeting those uh, new markets for services that, that the company can provide to them. Uh, it does have events and activities where both new people are invited to attend as well as clients uh, uh, um, can come, customers and clients can come to attend, but often it's more really geared towards people who are no longer they, they were clients once, they're past clients, and we kind of want to build the relationship and restore the relationship again in order to get them back on board, get them re-signed for, for our services, um, or get you know services that they would benefit from that they perhaps didn't know about um, before this point, before learning, it, learn, learning about it during uh, these events, uh, these business development events. Um, and then the last two sections, um, we talked about, well, I guess the last three sections, we talked about the executive, the administrative, we talked about marketing and business development. Um, but now finance, that's obviously making sure we have ways in which we can receive money, credit cards, that it goes to the bank accounts. Obviously, if we have any online purchasing, we need to make sure that's all set up. Um, bills will go out, invoices will go out, but we need to make sure they get paid. Um, and that any vendors get paid, etc., and records are kept, taxes and everything are, are recorded and, and prepared for and sent off. That's all finance. And then um, the remaining two sections, we've got production and delivery, which I mentioned to you. You know, people obviously know they have to produce a product or provide a service to do business, but they don't always realize that it's extremely important not only to sell those products and services, but to make sure that they're delivered and that the customers and clients get the benefits, get the results that they're looking for, right? We want to ensure that, that when we do that, you know, when we make sure and we follow up with clients and customers uh, and make sure that they got those results, 
then they're more likely to do repeat business. They're more likely to be happy that they did business with you uh, and the customer care that you're providing. And they're much more likely to refer you to other people. So you get a lot more referrals when you, in, when you take this kind of care uh, of your customers and clients. Um, and uh, yeah, the last, the last section, quality control. <laughs> we all know about it, but you know, not only do we wanna make sure that we're, when we're sending out documents, when we're sending out promotion, promotional pieces, that it's spell checked, right? And that it's been reviewed to make sure that it's clear and easy to read. Um, we also want to make sure that we're, we're doing our best to ensure that our products and services are at the highest standard. That any new innovations that we come up with or that are arrived at in the marketplace are adopted by us and included in updated versions of the products and services that we provide. Well, this is just a, a brief summary of the seven sections of any well-established business uh, that can thereby not only be established, but then expand. And again, it doesn't matter what industry it's in. It doesn't matter what kind of profession. Uh, it doesn't matter what scale it's at. It can be a small business or a large corporation. It must have all of these seven sections in place and operating for the business to be well-established, get well-established and expand. Thanks so much for your time.